One very useful thing that you can do in your HTML is to leave comments. And it's not just for HTML, but we're gonna see how we can do HTML comments in this video. And so the way a comment works is you go whatever you want in your code. And let's say we wanna put one over here. Uh, just to remind ourselves that we can only use one h1 per page so to leave a comment it's using our triangle brackets as well but i'm going to do an exclamation point hyphen hyphen and then you can see vs code actually finished it for me so an opening of the comment will look like this and then the closing of the comment looks like this here just without the exclamation point and then in between here we can write whatever we want so we can say uh, i can only use one h1 per page and maybe we should write one here because it looks a bit weird if not and that would be a comment and if i save my file and i go look over here that doesn't show up anywhere within my document the only thing showing up is the code that's here so this is only so this is really good early on when you're learning just to put little notes to remind yourself why you did things so if ever you're referring back to your old files or other things along the way. You can have little notes in here that saying what different things are doing. And you can also use it for structuring, putting comments to say like this section here, this section over here. Uh, just when you have a really big file, it can help sort of with your grouping and making it easy to see the different things, especially because the comment is using different colors with the syntax highlighting here. It can also be useful sometimes if you run into a weird bug or you want to test something, less so with the content we have right now, but I just want to show you how this works. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit like that. One really useful thing you can do is when you have your cursor somewhere, if I do a control forward slash, you can see that it turns that into a comment there. And if I do another control forward slash, it will on comment it. So you control forward slash, control S to save, and then you can refresh and you can see the change it made. You go, oh no, I didn't want to do that. Control forward slash, control S. And of course, if you're on a Mac, those would be commands instead. And then you can bring things in and out. Uh, I find I do that a lot more with CSS than I do with HTML, but even just for creating a comment, it can be useful. You come in, control forward slash, and then you can write your comment in there so you don't have to remember exactly how to do it. Each one of the languages between HTML and CSS and JavaScript has a different way to make a comment in the code, but the shortcut is always the same. So it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to remember exactly how to create the comment. You just have to remember that shortcut, and then in any language you're writing in VS Code, it will always make a comment for you.